Well, uh, talk about sex, the 2011 earthquake, and a heckler outside the courtroom. All made headlines as the trial of Virginia's former governor and his wife wrapped up its first week. Kimberly Suters is live in Richmond tonight with everything inside and outside the courtroom. Kimberly. <laughs> Gordon, the key to the prosecution here is that Bob and Maureen McDonald conspired to sell the prestige of the governor's office. So the defense is trying to poke holes in that strategy by saying basically the governor didn't ask for anything and that the first lady thought her relationship with Star Scientific CEO Johnny Williams was personal and not corrupt. A heckler outside the courthouse knew about the fancy clothes and the expensive watch. But the defense attorney for former Governor Bob McDonald argued he never asked for any gift. My client never asked you to arrange to have a Ferrari there? Star Scientific CEO Johnny Williams answered, nope, it just showed up. My client didn't ask you for a Rolex? No. Did you discuss the price of the wine and liquor? I wouldn't let them know the price of the wine. The strategy designed to show it was not the elected public official agreeing to a quid pro quo, but his wife, whose attorney painted her relationship with Williams so cozy, she emailed this quip right after the 2011 earthquake. I just felt the earth move and I wasn't having sex. Williams responded in court, that's funny, and admitted 1,200 emails and texts between the first lady and him seemed like a lot. So apparently have the first five days of courtroom drama to the McDonald's. I look forward to uh, having the truth continue to come out and uh, prevailing. Are you going to spend time with your family this weekend, Governor? I'm going to rest. Now the trial resumes Monday. A witness who we expect to be key here could be the First Lady's former Chief of Staff. We heard a lot about her name, a lot about the different meetings that she set up, the coordination that she did. The point being, she's at least one more person removed from the governor. Reporting live in Richmond, Kimberly Suters, ABC7 News. Okay, Kimberly, thank you so much.